Welcome to Cook It With Berms, you know what I'm saying? Today we're gonna make our poutine, as my Montreal people call it, you know what I'm saying? That's pas un petit peu de français, you know? And I got my special guest Biggs with me, you feel me? No. <laughs> I'm <prepared> for this. <laughs> so you're not gonna walk in? Thank you! Thank you for having me, thank you for having me. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rest of the Rack. My name is Biggs and I'll be your host today. Rest of the Rack is a show where we eat incredibly dope ribs and talk to even cooler people. Today, our guest is 5'10 point guard, out of Scarborough, Cotty Pippen himself, the DJ, the storyteller, the selector, it's Burma! All right, how you doing today, brother? I'm good, man. I feel real good. I'm excited. You know, we got some concoctions in the kitchen, so I'm out. All right, bro. You know what you got to do first? I got a rib for you. Let's get it. All right. It might be a little hot. Tell me, you good? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, that's dripping. That is very lovely. There you go. That's what I love to hear. Let's give it up for Burma one more time. <laughs> All right, so today, we're going to be making a poutine. I know you say you like to get crazy with your poutine, so we got you, we got you. We got our cheese curds. We don't do shredded cheese on poutine. If it's shredded cheese, it's not a poutine, it's cheese fries. Mm. I agree. Thank you. Uh, we got our gravy here. We got our big ribs ingredients. We got our green onion. Am I missing anything? No, that's it. Awesome, all right. So I'm missing fries. I <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, the fries will be there. I got CJ, my guy in the back, take care of that. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna get all the fries sorted and we're gonna get to the poutine. Let's get it. All right, okay, dope. So I'm gonna get you to cut up the green onion, that, the sick way. You know, I think there's a way, a few of these scissors, scissors are solid. They're actually yeah. quite hefty. That can cut a penny. I wish I had a penny to prove it to you, that can actually cut a penny dead ass. So I get you to cut this and I'll pull the ribs, I have the ribs back here. But, can you cut and talk? Yes. Can you talk and cut? Maybe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hope you can. Let me grab these here. You get a little diagonal swag. Yeah, man, however you wanna do it, bro. I can't lie, using scissors is actually mad effective. Yo, the scissors are a low-key way that people diss, but it, it, look at that. You know how long you be slicing with a knife is all soft? I don't like that. All right. All right. No, you can okay. cut. Don't worry. You said you can talk and cut. Okay, so you're DJ Burns, big selector. <laughs> How'd that happen? Where'd you start DJing? Where'd your love for music come from? Um, my love for music comes from my culture. I come okay. from a really artistic culture. My family's from Nepal. Okay. And so, like, I grew up with a lot of song and dance in my, in my house. And just, my dad is a musician, so I kind of always grew up around music, but I didn't know I really wanted to be a part of music. I think uh, DJing was a medium I kind of just stumbled upon and mm -hmm. it just worked for me, you know? And uh, that was just like right place, right time, like to be honest, because uh, I just had a bunch of people who believed in me early. So when I was like, hey, I kind of want to try my hand at this DJing thing, I had like a few cool mentors that just took me under their wing, didn't really ask for much and now, it's turned out pretty well for me, I'd like to think. <laughs> when did you start DJing? Like, how old were you? Um, I was 21 when I started DJing. Uh, I was always an artist. I've always been doing art, but DJing in particular, I found at like 21. Like, actually in March, it was like the sixth year anniversary of me DJing for the oh, first nice. time or something like that. So, fifth or sixth year. But honestly, time isn't real, so it doesn't matter. I know, I've been... I've <laughs> time is cap, you're not time wrong. Time is cap, bro. I've been to a, a couple of events where DJ... DJ Berms is on the ones and twos, and let me tell you, it's a movie. I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say that. Thanks, Do you have thanks. any big events coming up? Anything that we can go to, anything that we can tell our people to go to? Yeah, for sure. Um, as of the time of recording this, I actually have like three or four residencies in Toronto right now. Ooh, so that means like talk to them. Monthly, I have like three or four spots that I'm playing at, which I'm thankful for, you know. It's Where are the spots you play at? Are uh, they, and what days of the week are you there? Uh, so every second Saturday, I'm at this place called Cold Tea. I was actually there last night. How was that? Um, Movie? It was, of course, why well, I'm asking, why well, I'm asking, yeah, I'm sorry. Rude of me. Was, yo, like the line ran like a block long at 11 p.m., you know what I'm I saying? I always see you so, saying on your story, like, don't call me, like, I can't do anything for you guys, come on time or don't no come No word of a lie, as soon as I get to a venue, I put my phone on D&D. &D. Like, <laughs> it gets like, crazy, yeah, huh? Yeah, like, I don't business, you know, like, I'm there to play music, not to get you into the club. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that's probably one of the most annoying things? When yeah. you're, like, trying to get into the mood or whatever, and people calling you, calling you? Not really, because I don't let them. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put, 
And I feel like I really emphasize that because like, again, my job is to play music. It's mm -hmm. not to help You're not a promoter. Better. Yeah, I'm not yeah, a promoter. Yeah, for sure, I'm there for, sure. for music. And even the parties that I do throw are really DJ oriented. Mm -hmm. And that's really conscious. It's a decision that I chose to make because I feel like DJs are good enough to carry a show by themselves, you for know? Sure. And Toronto has some of the best DJs in the world, and I really mean that. Mm -hmm. And so why wouldn't we want to give them a platform where they could just shine? Do you have a favorite Toronto DJ besides yourself? Because obviously I'm sure you choose yourself. Yeah, for sure. Last night I got to play with one of my favorite DJs in the city. Her name is Jamie Lee. Okay. Uh, I think that she's incredible. Uh, I was telling her last night, like, to me, Jamie Lee is the the barometer in the city like you know okay. she's the the checkpoint you know so i was thankful that that's someone i can call my friend but that also somebody that i play alongside you know so jamie for sure and from scarborough this guy named louis v he's basically the one that took me under his wing and like okay. really helped me figure out my style and so for that he'll always be one of my favorites so oh. those are two of my favorite djs in the city all right awesome i'd like to give a big shout out to our partnership in the first season of the rest of the rack northern apparel co let's make some noise <laughs> Northern Apparel Company, they make the best quality luxury blank goods for you and your brands. They offer a sustainable approach to reducing textile waste and reducing the effects of fast fashion. If you're looking to start a brand, if you want premium quality blanks, look no further. No need to go overseas when you can get everything handmade in Canada with Northern Apparel Company. Looks really good, by the way. Scissors or knife from now on? I'm gonna still use a knife. Oh, but, you're crazy. Uh, but <laughs> see, use it that way? Not for everything. I, I think this converted me to scissors for certain things. For, yes, for certain things. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so I know you wanted waffle fries, or okay. as the professionals call them, lattice fries. I would never <laughs> call them that in my life. How do you spell lattice? L A T T I C E, lattice. Okay. Spelling Big Champ, 2007. Yeah? No. <laughs> All right, you can take your fries out. They should be, they should be blessed. Yeah, yes, sir. Give them a little shake, pause. <laughs> Hold on, I'll, uh, here, hold up. I'll use a spatula. <laughs> yeah, I do, dirty, do, do, do too much for myself? Oh, that's blessed, that's blessed. You're blessed with that? I guess. All mm -hmm. right, bet. So I, I know you're, uh, you're an East Side legend, Scarborough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think you're the only person I know that reps Scarborough as hard as you. Really? Yeah, I appreciate that. It's honestly, it comes from just like really loving the people that I grew up with. Mm. Like to me, Scarborough is my home. And the reason I represent it is because it represents the people I grew up with. You mm -hmm. know, so we're all from the east side. So whenever I rep that, I'm, I, you know, repping the whole team. What's your favorite thing about Scarborough or the east end, I should say, in general? Um, and I'm a west end boy. I don't yeah, really yeah. travel those ways too much. I think that... Uh, one thing about being from Toronto is like you could really tell who's from the West and who's from the East just by how they move, you know? Like <laughs> West End men's are really aggressive, bro. Like what? really, really aggressive. They remind you, West End, not west of the city. West okay. End, you okay. know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. So like they're just really aggressive. And East End dudes, we're just cool, bro. We just swaggy, we slick. You I know? see the total opposite way, bro. For me, East Side dudes are the hotheads. We're hotheads, yes, but that doesn't mean that we don't, we move like hotheads. Okay, 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 okay. You yeah. think uh, you think the Western man should have proved too much? No, nah, I won't. I won't ever say that. I will always say everyone's. I'm trying to get some hot water. I'm trying to get hot water. I will always say everyone's more gangster than me, bro. I'm not. I'm not mm. gangster at all. But yeah, yeah. like, I just think that there's just a certain like confidence that comes from being from the East because of how much neglect that we faced. Mm. You know, like you have to be sure of yourself because. As soon as you say, oh, I'm from Scarborough, man's are going to be like, oh, this guy's from the East. Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? So you have to be extra sure in yourself, and like, it for really sure, for forces sure. you to be that. I love that. All right, bro. So we're going to get some toppings on this now. So we okay. got the cheese curds, because I said it. If it's shredded cheese, not a poutine. Right. So I'll let you get some cheese curds on that. We got okay. the ribs here pulled. If you want to add more barbecue sauce, you can. That Big's rib special, for sure. Yo, so what got you into making ribs? Uh, okay, so I... I'm a seven day Venice Christian. I don't eat pork. Okay. So uh, a lot of the ribs that are out there are pork ribs, you know? Yeah. And during the early in the pandemic, my boy, shout out ID, shout out Zay, spooky gang man, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, he put me on a beef rib place. I'm not going to shout him out because I'm not shitting on them, but um, yeah. I, had their, I had their ribs right. and like, they're good, but like, I feel like I can make better ribs. But it was so hard for me to find like, different like a, like a manufacturer just like to find like beef backwards right right so i finally got them 
through trial and error, pretty much here we are, bro. I just posted on my Instagram story a couple of times, like, ribs are coming, ribs are coming. Yeah. And <clears throat> before you know it, bro, here we are. That's sick. Man. Making rib poutine. So yeah, it's been a journey. I'm thankful for all the hands I've helped. It's been, it's not a one hand effort. For sure. Like, so I know, shout out my friend Habiba, she helped me with the Big Ribs logo. Shout out everyone that helped me with this. So we have North Side of the Map, we got Washland, we got North Side Apparel Pair Company. There's so many hands involved in what I do on an everyday basis that like, makes everything possible. Cause I couldn't do it by myself, not 100%. at all. And I think that so many times you make it seem like, I don't know how it is out, out, out east, but <laughs> I know just like a crab in a bucket mentality sometimes. It's real. And like, that's why I want to do the show so we can get everyone involved and have a happy time, eat food and just relax, yeah. no chill, like no Gaza, no none of this, just have a good time. Yeah. No. So I'm happy. I feel that because like for me, like growing up food is so cultural and like mm -hmm. food is so community oriented, right? Like we have this thing called Momo, which is dumplings. Yeah, yeah. And like when you make it, everyone sits around the table together. We all make it together. We all eat, drink, share stories. And you know, everyone's just having a good time. It's like real communal and it's like, Food will always bring people together to tell always. stories, you yeah, know? Yeah. So it's like interesting that you chose ribs as your platform to tell your story. For sure. And I, I must say, I think you have the best ribs in the world, bro. In the world? In the world. Like, I, 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 I might have the best ribs in the world. I'm going to go ahead and set it. If you make ribs, holla at me. Mine might be better. Beef ribs. I'm not a pork man. So beef ribs, for sure. Would you enter, like, a rib competition? I would. Yeah? Uh, I would. Why do you sound so hesitant? I'm not hesitant, but I don't want to smoke, man. You know what I'm saying? But no, I definitely would. I would like to join Ribfest, but I feel like my process right now isn't conducive to a rib fest. So for those who don't know, I marinate for 24, 36 hours, slow cook for four to five hours, barbecue half an hour almost. So there's a lot that goes into it. So I haven't really thought about how to make that conducive to like a quick rib fest right. type vibe, you know? But eventually, one day, one day, that's for sure. Oh, this looks crazy, by the way. Yo, <laughs> I'm actually very excited. <laughs> So before we dig in, mm -hmm. I know that you've done some playlists or yeah. mixes. Yeah. I know you're indifferent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you have anything coming up? Anything we should be looking out for? Um, just know this is a PSA. Like I'm really trying to take over the city, bro. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm here really for trying it. To, I'm really trying to do something special. Like, you know, we talked a lot about Scarborough and I feel like for years, there's no space where Scarborough kids can just go and be themselves, mm -hmm. you know, like for a multitude of reason, you know, classism, racism, a lot of different stuff. Like feels like we don't have any spaces that are ours or mm. like spaces that we can call ours. So my goal is this summer just provide spaces where even if it's for a night, like my people feel like it's their night. You know what I'm saying? I love so that, bro. Like, that's sort of what I'm focused on for this summer. And you know, of course, Caravana. We oh, Lee. You have, you have a Caravana lineup set up already? I got some stuff in the works. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited. And like last night I cold tea, like uh, I debuted my own drink special at the. Oh, yeah, what's yeah. your what's your mix? It's a rum and ting, so it's called the rum burn. and ting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. the ting goes crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's the berm special at cold mm. tea now. So it's cool, man. Like so there's okay, a lot of stuff that's going hard. on. So I'm excited for bigger and better, but I'm also enjoying all the moments right now while they're sure. happening. You have you to. Know? You have to. So and I know you like mayo on your poutine, so that'll also be the berm special because that's crazy. Fair so I get you some mayo quick. And I like ketchup on my poutine. So. <laughs> Where my ketchup at? <laughs> Man, I'm supposed to throw my ketchup. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got Odell hands. Oh, that's okay. That's what makes great television. That's okay. <laughs> that, was a, that was a horrible toss. But if my hands touched it, I, I caught it. Bad toss, bad toss, bad toss, bad toss, bad toss. That's a bad toss. Uh, so let me, let me see what you do. Oh, you go like that. Yeah, bro. You're nuts. 
Why? Right. You just put a little dollar? No, nah, I mean, I do the same thing with ketchup, though. What? You try to use ketchup? We'll try, try to... No? 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 Okay, 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 no, okay. Thank you. All right, so... Cheers, brother. Yeah, bro. Thank you for having me, fam. Oh, for sure. Oh, I should <laughs> have a fork. What the fuck am I doing? That's all awesome, bro. Mmm. No key? I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna go outside my comfort zone today. I'm telling you, fam. It might be kind of crazy. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I can tell you. Okay. Have not, not done that before. What the heck? All right, 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 all right. Get some ribs on that bad boy. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Oh, apparently these bozos messed up my sound. But you know what? It's all good. Because I'm going to take this opportunity to shout out the beautiful, beautiful place of Scarborough. That's probably the greatest place in the world. You know, if you look up Disney's inspiration when he was building the theme park, or you look at Wonderland's original blueprints, you know what they studied? They studied the great East End of Toronto, Scarborough to the world. So while I have your attention, I just want to say RIP to the STC hot air balloons. Scarborough is the greatest place on earth. And shout outs to Biggs for having me. Shout outs to Biggs, Ribs, and the whole family. Hopefully yeah. next time they won't mess up my audio. But okay, you got bare video of me looking trick. sweet in a trucker hat. And to say, I don't really <laughs> wear trucker hats, so I'm surprised that I look so good. Uh, Anyways, y'all, like my name is Burma. So you like that so good? Oh, that silk? Yeah. I, oh, silk, silk, okay, 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 okay. All right, so before you leave, I'm going to get you to give a recommendation. It could be about anything. It could be about... Um, it could be like a career advice, it could be TV, it could be anything. My recommendation for you at home watching this is go to your favorite artist's discography and go listen to the same album that they made when they were your age. Mm. So if you were to do that, who would you pick? Uh, I, I did that recently mm -hmm. and I listened to Jay-Z who, who released Reasonable Doubt at 26, which is the age I am. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Drake, I don't know what album he was at 26. But uh, yeah, I do it often, and sometimes I'm just like, wow, like some of the issues and some of the. You kind of see it from their point of view, from exactly. Yeah. Like it's like, okay, damn, yeah, like okay, this is something that's normal to feel, or something that people question, you know. So it makes you feel a little less crazy. Mm. All right. So do you have? Where can everyone find you? Where can they find your playlist, your mixes? Where can they find you on on, on social media? Chances are you can find me somewhere in Scarborough Shoots. While yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. You can find me at Colty Playing. Uh, but if you want to follow me on the digital sphere underscore Burma, that's my handle on everything. Uh, if it's not an actual underscore, then it's spelled out U A B E R S O S C O R E. Got it. <laughs> you know, I'm not spelling champion. You know, but, uh, yeah, that's where you can find me. And more than anything, find me somewhere spreading love and the good word of Scarborough. There you go. Thank you for coming on Burma. Let's make some noise for Burma. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You, bro. See y'all next time on Rest of the Rag. Peace. Hey. hey. That's it. <laughs>